YouTube. It's your boy AA9 Skills. I got this cool little video here for you guys. This one's pretty excited because I'm here with my good friend, the Big Nepo. What's up, guys? Nepenthes here. What's up, guys? Nepenthes here. I kind of sound like you. You sound nothing like me, dude. Oh, man, I sound like you. Trust me. <laughs> Anyways, Nep and I were sitting in this Skype call this morning. We were talking about this uh, this big game that's coming on this weekend: Spurs versus Arsenal. And um, we were kind of going back and forth with each other. You know, Big Nepo thinks Arsenal is going to win. I think Spurs have a chance. And, uh, Nep, you, you think Arsenal's taking this one? Yeah, dude, I think Arsenal got a much stronger team than Spurs. You know, Spurs are a bit of a, a one-man band with Gareth Bale, whereas Arsenal have got stars all over the field. I think they're going to take, a, you know, maybe a strong 3-1 or 4-1 victory. All right, well, and I was kind of thinking that Spurs have a really good chance because I think, I think Bale is playing some world-class football at the moment. I think... They're not a one-man team, but I think he could definitely put Spurs on their back and kind of carry them to success at the moment. He's playing that good. But we decided why not let EA predict this? Why not put it on Legendary and let the, the CPU battle it out, Arsenal in their away kit? They're definitely going to be in their home kit right now. Yeah, yeah, they'll be in their red kit when the, the game's actually played in a few hours from now. Um, but in, in terms of Bale carrying Spurs, you know, the, the problem with Bale in this game is they're playing him in the left midfield or the left wing role because... Basically because Walcott is too important for Arsenal, you know, that Bale started off as a left back, he's gonna in in his career he's gonna obviously be there for defensive reasons. He's far more effective in that central role. So it's going to be good for Arsenal that he's out on the wing. And in terms of Arsenal, you know, we've got a great qu great quartet in midfield with Wilshere, Cazorla, Ramsey and Arteta who will all be like rotating in, in the team for this game. And Walcott's going to be the danger man for sure with uh, Wilshere controlling the game in the centre of the park. I'm going to be honest with you now. I don't really like... Now, th these lineups can change during the real game. This is just a, a prediction of a lineup that we got from a website and stuff like that. Yeah. But... Uh, I don't really like Bale playing left mid. I think Bale behind Defoe in the middle of the field would cause more more of a threat to that Arsenal defense. Yeah, I agree. I mean, just as I said briefly there, Bale started as a left back with Southampton. He started as a left back with Spurs. As Arsenal already through here, Ramsey passes through to Giroud. Has a terrible shot. Um, he started. In and you and you think you guys are gonna <laughs> win? <laughs> um, look, we're on the attack again. Theo Walcott. Passes through to Wilshere. The return ball is on. Walcott is there. Walcott flops hard. Notice, notice how well you guys... Oh, whoa, whoa. Keep calm down there. But notice how well you guys play until you get into the box. Yeah, it's, it's been a, one of the problems for us this season so far. But uh, so, so Bale, you know, he started as a left back. He's got great def defensive qualities. He's shown through the years that he's he can be an attacking force and he is a game changer for Spurs. But out on the left wing, he's there to combat the threat of Theo Walcott and his pace. That, that what, what's interesting because you know I was just joking there about the the whole getting into the box and messing up, but I was actually looking at Arsenal stats for the season and and goals for you guys actually have 52 goals scored this season. That's pretty good with the fact that you guys lost RVP, who's world class. Yeah, I mean we lost a world class player, but we gained. You know, Giroud isn't isn't a mug. You know, he, he's taken a long time to get used to the BPL, but he was top scorer in France last year. Podolski, a great finisher. Walcott has stepped up a gear this season since Van Persie left. You know, he's our I think yeah, he's our top scorer this season with 11 goals in the BPL. That's for sure. And uh, he, he's showing that he really wants that striker spot in this in this Arsenal team. And I think he'll be good enough to take it. I think he'll be good enough to replace Van Persie. Definitely. Well, I, I, as we get real close to reaching the 15th minute, uh, it's been a lot of Arsenal. Arsenal controlling the game, Spurs trying to get onto the ball and not really doing much with it. Do I see it really going down this way in, in real life in today's game? I'm not sure. I think I think possession will be 50-50 now. No, I don't know. Arsenal have always, always controlled possession in games. You know, even if we lose games, even if we play badly, we always tend to have a lot of possessions because exactly what Wilshire is doing now, we actually hold the ball in these sort of positions really well in real life football and control the ball on the edge of the box but like you said at the start it's that cutting edge as Giroud has an exceptionally close shot there uh, that cutting edge in, in front close. of close <laughs> whoa 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 close shot <laughs> now wait look j just to start a little bit of, of controversy and not make and, and to get people talking in the comments down below because that's what we want I, I see Wilshere kind of fitting a good role at Bayern next season Dude, Wilshere's never going to leave Arsenal. He's an Arsenal fan through and through. He's grown up with the club. There's no way he's going. You don't think you don't think he kind of fits that Guardiola type football? Go on, Defoe. Ah, never mind. Just you don't think he fits that? Uh, maybe, maybe, but uh, 
you don't want to talk about it. No, I mean... Let, let, let's not, because as you can see, Parker's pushing forward here, and Spurs are about to get on that scoreboard as a good move is put on. Look at him just weaving through that defense, but Ramsey coming up big on that D. And in the 25th, 24th minute, Santi trying to push out, and it's a lot of Wilshire on the ball, dude. I told you, dude, just like real life, Wilshire will control games. He's in that, like, he's sat right behind the striker. What the way he played recently and the way he played for England, you know, he's going to be a future England captain for sure. He dominates. That's a foul. No, dude, that's not a foul. Wilshire just Sandy just killed him. Dude, he needs to relax. Wilshire crosses the ball in there. Dembele does great defensive work, and uh, Lennon and Parker having a little bit of one twos in their own box. Can't say that that's uh, advisable, but it goes out for a throw in here. And uh, are, you, are you scared of Lennon? No, dude, Lennon is like a worse version of Sean Wright Phillips who is a worse version of Theo Walcott like what are you <laughs> what's there to be scared of wait wait hold on hold on wait what are the first leg end like the first time you guys matched up this season what did that end so Arsenal won 5-2 in that game a, but a Bale, dominant Bale wasn't playing that type of world no, class no, Bell wasn't there, but Jenkinson's on the attack here. Jenkinson in the edge of the box, plays it through to Santa Cruz. And Arsenal are really mo making moves here. And look at that, Ramsey getting hustled on the edge of the box. Comes back to Good Jenkinson. Passenger. What is he doing up there? Jenkinson. Oh, what a oh. goal. <laughs> 35th minute, Jenkins with the booyah and nap. Your team looks good, boss. Dude, Jenkinson's our replacement right back, and he's scoring long-range shots with his left foot. This is what we do to Tottenham, man. We just dominate. Top corner. Maybe in real life, Loris gets to that. Dude, in real life, if Jenkinson is there, we've got bigger issues than Laurie <laughs> getting to that. <laughs> yeah, they're pushing pretty pretty far forward. But like I said, we haven't seen Bale in this game at all. And that's why I think Bale needs to be more in the middle of the field. Defoe with a great pass there. And once again, they're in the box. But the Arsenal defense has been really really good arsenal's d's been playing some solid football now dude this year the the weak link in our defense has actually been vermarlin and he should be like our strongest player mertesacker has had a great season i know he is slow as you like but he's had a great season he's really assured himself this year he deserves that first place oh, oh look at this <laughs> Look at that, Giroud getting injured. Like, this is dirty Spurs. I know this is a rivalry game, Spurs, but this is a video game. You don't need to take this stuff to the, you know, into the video game with you. That's bad. EA nah, have really got this programming down good, dude. <laughs> <laughs> but Podolski's going to have to step on, so Giroud goes out and, and you replace him with a monster German. So it's not really that big of a deal. Actually, now you have a lot of pace to get past that defense. But I do want to let people know right now that I'm definitely not a Spurs fan. I just... Right now, with the way they're playing, I feel like they have a good chance this game. But obviously, EA thinks very, very differently as Spurs really haven't touched the ball much. But finally trying to get forward. Look at how far Defoe is now. Look yeah. how far back he is. Yeah, no, he's real back. Obviously, that's a, an indication, you know, of Arsenal controlling this game. Our defense line is strong. We've held the ball up. And look at that Walcott coming in from the right wing. And Podolski would have been through there if Walcott got his head up. But we're just controlling the possession really well. And that, as long as we've come up on our game t in today's real-life game, I think this is exactly how the real game will go. Like I said at the start of the game, Bale is a world-class player. He's a bit lost out on the left wing. If Arsenal can keep him tied up for the game, then we're going to walk all over Spurs. They don't have enough players to, to kind of take down the Arsenal team. Definitely. Well, a big offside call there. But finally, for the first time, getting close. You know, we're in the 45th minute now, getting close to halftime. Finally, for the first time, I saw Bale actually getting the ball and getting down that wing. And if, if Spurs want to make a comeback in this second half, I definitely think they got to get Bale uh, the ball a lot more as we go to halftime. 1-0 Arsenal with a great first half, a lot of possession, more shots, and, and winning the game. So right now, Arsenal, you got to be proud of your boys i mean that you gotta be proud of your boys yeah dude i'm proud if, if you were the spurs manager though dude what would you do at halftime what changes would you make uh you know I, like i said i think i think bell needs to go more more central um they got big anna by on the bench i'm pretty sure he'll be on the bench for this one yeah yeah um, he should be maybe, i would have thought so yeah maybe bring him in try to try to feed him the ball but look at wilshire again just was that wilshire yeah that, that's uh that's actually ramsey number 16. was it ramsey yeah. oh it was ramsey. <laughs> yeah so ramsey just controlling it and look at this arteta ramsey. oh that's a foul ramsey. ref Nah, oh, never. Ref. Ramsey, Wilshere, and Arteta were looking like like Xavi, Messi, and Inesta. They were controlling that ball so beautiful in front of the box. And if Arsenal played football like this in real life, you guys might be champions. Dude, we what's crazy is Arsenal get a lot of stick for for doing the the simple things so bad and like messing up against real t real easy teams that we should beat. But the bottom line is we're only five points behind Manchester City right now. So the, the op maybe six points, sorry. The opportunity to finish second place is still on. 
It's, de it's definitely there. And it, the thing is, it's there for, for Spurs as well. As Arteta finds Podolski, Podolski to Wilshere, back to Podolski. Look at this passing back to Wilshere. Someone shoot it. You guys just let, you gotta let it fly at this point. Yeah, that, that's where we suffer. And and again, oh, there Podolski, Laurie saves, dude. They need that. That's that's more of what you guys need to yeah. just let it. Oh, fly. it's all right. We got the the Jerve Meister coming on, dude. He changes games. Why would you take Walcott off? What? Walcott's been controlling this game. Some some crazy decisions, but but Nep, we we talked a little bit about this uh, in, in the Skype call when we were going back and forth as each oh, other. Podolsky, oh, Podolski, yes, two 0 Lucas Podolski, great header, great great header, and he dude, come he, he he wasn't gonna come in if Giroud didn't get hurt. Yeah, that that's oh look at that header, Laurie left with no chance, two 0 I expect this exactly how it's gonna go down in real life. Uh, we, we talked about this in in the Skype call, and I said Nep, who who has more pressure on them going into this game and and i think maybe spurs because they're in third now and everybody's breathing down their neck but you think arsenal yeah i think arsenal got a lot of a lot more pressure you know we've lost some embarrassing games recently to bradford and to blackburn and obviously we took a, a heavy beating to bayern who won 3-1 but could have could have easily put a couple more goals past us we're struggling in the easy games and if we want to get in that top four we got to win things you know we like we, we've got to win games we've got to get into that top four because if we're out of Champions League football all of our stars leave and then w what are we left as a club like we'll be, we'll be a mediocre mid-table club if we don't get in that top four this season definitely man Lennon with a great move he, he lays the ball off to Parker Parker trying to make something happen lays it back and the shot finally comes out and that might be one of the first shots we've seen from yeah, Spurs I think so and that's from like 25 yards as well they're really struggling in this game yeah. The Arsenal's defense has been uh, world class, and, and you know I think Walcott actually going out in this game was a good choice because I don't think he was on the ball that much. Parker with another terrible pass, and this game is Arsenal's. There's no way Spurs is getting back into this, but I want to bring this up to you real quick. Nep, watching this, and and you know you watch Arsenal on a daily basis or a weekly basis. Every weekend you're there watching them. How much did EA get it right of the way they play to in real life? I tell you what, this is like bang on the money, dude. The amount of times in real life Arsenal. Can get into the final third and up to the box but then don't have anything okay. clinical to do after that is ridiculous and the fact that they've actually captured that in a video game is nuts man it's nuts uh, i think if they've got anyone wrong i think they've got spurs wrong i think spurs are a lot more of an attacking team than what they've offered yeah. here um yeah. but you know bale really should be getting on the ball a lot more uh, but you can't replicate the, the real life form in a fifa game like that you know the, the players in the game don't know that bale's a legend right now and Podolski again ah and let the left foot on him and they're showing Bell because even he ain't saying Bell what's going on <laughs> baby <laughs> you've been playing better football than that he just looked terrible but looks like Spurs is going to make a substitution here and it might be Defoe coming off from the way it looks like that cut skein actually uh, Arsenal also making some subs Why is, there he's just bought Wilshere off for Rizitski Adi Bayor's on boo and, and uh, Bayor see that 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 should have happened I think maybe around the the 55th minute the 60th minute you bring him on uh you, you you get the pace on the wings and you start feeding that ball into the box because uh you might try to win some headers clearly it's not working uh w with the little tiki taka football is it no it's it's, it's not working but uh Adi he, he's he's a good player dude and when he was at Arsenal he, he had a great season at Arsenal but since he's left Arsenal he's not really been outstanding you know he's had a lot of bad times at you know Man City and Real Madrid and now Spurs I think Real Madrid was a mistake for him now yeah I think it was a huge mistake big setback for him but here's Podolski again trying to trying to find some uh, a good pass here he's trying to feed the wings and what is he how is he controlling the ball like that Lennon having to go all the way back to the to the right back position to get that ball now it's that German efficiency for you <laughs> Ramsey holding down the midfield now he lays the ball off and I, I just can't believe how how well Arsenal's controlling this game I'll, I'll be honest I'll be very surprised if Ramsey starts in real life against Spurs because like he he's not good enough for the big games he makes far too many mistakes and Holby's actually through here oh he's... see there there was just bale put a good pass and oh bale got down the way oh, he has a lot of look 84th at the minute the 84th minute can something happen he need to use a fake shot there fake shots <laughs> fifa 13 baby fake shot that thing he crosses it in but look at anna Bayor chilling outside the box instead of being in the middle next to that penalty area ready to smash the ball into the back of the net yeah both times bale's had the, the ball both notable times he's had the ball he's actually made something happen for Spurs as well they need to get it out to him more they need to play him in a central role look at Definitely. that crosses in again 
Smash. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, dude. He's a worse version of Sean Wright Phillips, who is a worse version of Theo Walcott. <laughs> so, so th this is what I want you guys to do. If 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 you're still watching this video, let me know in the comments down below. We want to know what do you think of this simulation? Do you think EA got it right? Clearly, if you're a Spurs, Spurs fan, you're gonna be like, no way. But I want you to watch this, and if you're watching this before the game, tell us what you think, and then after the game, come back and tell us what you think about EA's predictions after you know what really happened. Yeah, yeah, for sure. All right, so Anna Bayor, uh, now he's now he's bail. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Anna Bayor is trying to be bail, but the ball falls right to Parker's foot. Parker trying to make something happen. A great pass. And wait, Anna Bayor has a chance now. Where's Bale? Where is this guy? There he is. Across in. Oh. Defense is too strong, dude. Defense is far too strong. Doing well, Parker. Moving the ball around. Lennon's on it. Lennon trying to make something happen. Trying to get fancy with it. Nice little 360 spin there. What's he going to do with it? Lennon. Yo, cross it. It's the 90th minute. <laughs> Game's on your side. I promise you. Parker, Parker, Aww. I told you. It's the minute. 2-1. <laughs> Nap, man. Unlucky, bro. That was a lucky goal, dude. That was a lucky. Look like... Lennon is time wasting, like in the 90th minute when he's 2 0 down, dude. <laughs> it is in your favor there. You got to take that shot. And now, now it's all about Arsenal holding on. And they do. They're going to pick up the win 2 1. And this, this could possibly happen. Yeah, dude. This is a very, very possible scoreline, that's for sure. All right, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. This was something we came up with just because we kind of got into a little argument back and forth. So this is what you guys can do, man. If you guys want to see us do, what's the game on on Wednesday, Nat? Uh, well, on Tuesday, I think we've got Real Madrid against Man United. Is that what it is? So if you guys like what we did here, we'll simulate Man U versus uh, uh, Real Madrid and we'll put that up on Nepo's channel. But... For you to show us that you did like it if this video can get 5,000 likes that video will be up on tuesday on that post chat and uh, let us know in the comments down below what, what what would you guys like to see a big match of the week every week and who knows maybe we'll even take this to uh get uh, youtubers and viewers playing each other yeah maybe and I, i'd just like to say to the people watching as well we didn't watch this game beforehand we had no idea of the score that's the first time we saw the game so this is a fully live commentary ladies and gentlemen we gotta go because the game's actually gonna start here pretty soon that we gotta go watch this bad boy yep come on Let's go. <laughs> good luck bro and i will see you guys later Nat. peace